Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. <laughs> <laughs> you may recognize our next guest from Fox's Empire, NBC Chicago PD, and we recently worked together when he recently played my husband Ooh. in our upcoming movie called Equal Standard. Oh yes, please welcome Tobias Trevelyan. What's up, what's up? Hi, Tobias. Hey. How are you? How are you? How are you? Hey, Tobias. Great. How are you? Doing well, doing well. Have a seat. Make Thanks yourself comfortable. You yes. look amazing. You look fit. Yes. Your skin looks awesome, mm -hmm. glowy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You know, that's that you. vegan lifestyle. Yes. Okay, so you're, first of all, working with you was, was such a pleasure. You're such an amazing actor. Thank you. And you were, but you were a model. <laughs> clearly, in your younger years. <laughs> so what made you go from being a Ooh, model a into, who, who hello, somebody, is anyone there? Is that? So what was, your, what was the He's deciding so uh, factor that made you go from modeling into acting? Yeah, I just think, uh, for me, it was a natural progression, mm -hmm. um, getting caught up in the theater world, in the mm -hmm. uh, National Black Theater, Tunde Samuels, Dr. T. I had a really good mentor, uh, the mother of the late, great, uh, Michelle Thomas, I don't mm -hmm. know if you remember her, she played Myra on Family Matters. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, she was somebody that I connected with early on in my career mm -hmm. that really kind of introduced me to the craft and really showed me the way. And um, once you get bit by the acting bug, it was like a forever journey. So yeah. that's what kind of happened to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you had a role in 2005, um, Hitch, yeah. with uh, Will mm -hmm. Smith and Eva, oh, yeah. Eva Mendes. How did you land that role and what was it like for you? I mean, I think natural, just doing the audition, yeah. the natural audition process. At that time, I think uh, I had like really shaved my head, cleaned up, and I had a brand new look, and mm -hmm. my energy was in a certain space, and when I walked in the room, it was just a no-brainer. Mm. They said that we gotta have this guy working with Will. His energy is always through the roof. Yeah. So, you know, picking up his, you know, picking up gems from him along yeah. the way, Man. my Libra brother, so. It was fun, it was fun. I learned a lot. You'd be surprised at how many people every day say, hey man, I saw you in Hitch, you in Hitch, mm -hmm. oh my God. And it's just one of those gifts that just keeps on giving. Wow. Well, one of the gifts that you started off with, mm -hmm. which is, you know, old school black people say we watch the stories. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so One uh, one Life to Live was one of my favorite ones. You oh, yeah. played uh, Tika Sumpner's uh, love interest, Vincent Jones. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, what was that like? And what, you know what, what's the difference from playing in the stories okay. than big screen? Uh, well, coming out of the theater, it, it was, it was a um, like training ground for me, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, because it was so big on stage. It really taught me how to like dial it back. Um, watching um, Timothy Stickney, Phil Carey, Bob Woods, yeah, all these it's great. A, it's like a craft. Yeah, 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 and then just the, the memorization, as much uh, dialogue that they're giving you at a time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's like acting one on one. Mm. And for any young actor coming out of the theater or even just wanting to pursue TV and film. That's a great training ground. The story is always changing. You get a lot of dialogue. You get mm -hmm. paid a little bit of money, and um, you get a, <laughs> a lot of dialogue. <laughs> so a little bit of money. A little bit of money. Yeah. But okay then. <laughs> you know, but it's great for a young actor and yeah. young person starting out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Empire, working alongside of some majors, you know, Taraji oh, yeah. P Henson, oh, yeah. Terrence um, Howard. How how was that for you? Oh, you amazing. play D major. Oh yeah, I yeah. mean the experience was great. D major is such a complex brother in the world, so having those layers and trying to figure out how he fits into that world and you know figuring himself out, it was it was a challenge. Yeah, it was, a, it was an interesting uh, journey for myself. Uh, how me, so? Just because being around Taraji, being around Terrence, I'm like a Jesse. You know, I'm always like a sponge, you know, mm. I'm quiet and I pick up things along the way and then I apply it to myself and mm -hmm. see what works, what doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, iron sharpens iron, so I'm there for a reason. Okay, well, you know, speaking of iron sharpening iron, yeah. okay, you're like, you're just like a renaissance brother. You do uh, it all, you know, you do, you down to the cooking. You know, it's a look at. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. <laughs> but the people on the street said that you're now teaching yoga. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are yeah. now teaching yoga. So um, I remember you were practicing it a lot, because oh, practicing yeah. it a lot. But what has um, made you want to teach it, and how has it um, helped facilitate your, your peace and mm -hmm. being centered uh, in what you do? Uh, well, the main reason is uh, the initiative and the community that we have in uh, Newark, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, uh, you know, it's like community strong. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about protecting the sisters. It's about brothers communicating. Right. It's about the brothers that I keep around me. We always force each other to do better. And in the gym, we go hard. Fitness mm -hmm. Fast team, yeah. my coaches, Dre and Croc, and my brother, um, Duke Richmond. 
we go really hard in that gym. So I was looking at our CrossFit business and it was saying, you know, I need to add more flexibility to it. So I said, let me introduce the yoga I've been doing it myself. Let me introduce this to the community. Mm -hmm. Just build stronger ties between the sisters and the brothers. And that was like the main reason. Yeah. Not to mention what it's gonna do for you physically yeah, like and that. spiritually. Mm -hmm. I like that. Well listen, we have more with Tobias when we return. He's gonna let us know about his cooking skills. Mm -hmm. How about yeah. that? Uh -oh. Stick around. <laughs> you to make it your business to come back home to your family. My family? It's my first priority, you hear me? I just stopped by to see my daughter. What's up? <laughs> see this? Another young black male dead in his 20s due to the lack of training and accountability. Ooh. <laughs> what y'all was doing on well, the set? We're going to go to the question. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tobias, that was a yeah, great that police was officer what you did there. I really liked your police officer skills. Um, <laughs> yes. So that is our movie, Equal Standard. Um, that was the trailer. It's, it's a powerful movie. It, it, um, but. Tobias, tell us about the movie. Tell us, you know, give us some of the, the backstory of the movie and what we're going to expect. Uh, it's a conversation piece. Uh, we're, dealing, we're dealing with injustices. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're following an off-duty <coughs> police officer, yeah. played by myself, who is approached by an undercover cop mm -hmm. who's uh, racially profiled. Uh, there's like a little scuffle that happens and once somebody winds up losing their life mm -hmm. and the conversation that happens after that about you know injustices and justice the black man yeah. end up losing so, his life. so things yeah, that are going on in our maybe, nation maybe right maybe now really? being very relevant to the things that we're dealing with <laughs> oh, yeah. In America. oh yeah yeah that's true yes. mm -hmm. well let's switch gears a little bit because that's a bit heavy it is but what's light is cooking and you cook yes. vegan so oh, yeah. tell us a little bit about that how were you inspired um this, well, I'm vegan now. Mm -hmm. um, I made a transition about two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, just from my regular lifestyle into the vegan lifestyle. And I'm, I've been a chef my entire life, but now I'm just transitioning into the, the vegan lifestyle, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been fun. Yeah, yeah. I come fun. back and cook you know, with Miss Clark. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah, that. yeah. You gotta yeah. electrify mm -hmm. your life. It's all about electrifying your life. Now you're in town. Speaking of electric, because yeah. Tyler Perry turns up. Yes. <laughs> um, what is it like being in the? You're working on a Tyler Perry series right now. Um, mm -hmm. That's going to be on BET. What is it like being in the Tyler Perry universe? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it goes straight to my heart when I get on there and I see the black stage managers. I see the mm -hmm. black key, the black um, lighting and stuff. Everyone that's working around, all the people that's employed. The, the lot itself, you're talking about 300 acres. Mm, wow. It's amazing. It's really amazing to watch him work. This is to be in his presence, but just to see the camaraderie around the people and mm -hmm. how good. people have jobs. Yeah. You know, yeah. people are working. Yeah. And that in itself is amazing. And I applaud you, TP, all the way. Yeah, well, that's yeah. right. Tobias, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> thank um, you. Uh, be sure to follow Tobias on Instagram at Tobias Trevelyan to see where our, when and where our mu movie Equal Standard and all his other projects oh, drop. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and the conversations continue on all social media platforms. It's a circle, TV. Yay. Yeah.